I've been in this business for over 30 years now, and I can't tell you how many times I feel like I was beaten up. I just wanted to leave, and I want to give up. And in those moments, I would think of Vic. Those are fucking good jokes. I don't care what you say. You put me in that room, I dare you to put me in that room in 10 minutes with a real crowd, and I'll do those same jokes. 1998, I got the chance of a lifetime to do a talk show. I think in some ways uh, we're meant to meet certain people in life. And without even an agent, I said, you're hired and you're on the staff. Vic Cohen. <laughs> and then my adventure began. Dude, what are you doing? I'm, I'm just trying to make it look more real. I set up a camera because this came to me. And I've had a camera on him for 12 years. Do you have an act, like three minutes, four minutes? I'm, I'm working on some stuff. May I deep French kiss you? I just sit here with a fucking clipboard. You guys were wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, should I run him for indecent? That will never hold up. This is what the life is. This is, as you say, you know, not to be cliche, but the journey. And I don't want to be a guy who has excuses uh, of why he didn't do something. Nobody is happier to show up. Nobody is happier to perform. Nobody's happier to discuss. Nobody's happier to annoy than Vic. You'll see what happens. Those were good fucking jokes.